snatch grip deadlift. Now this is a much harder exercise to perform than the normal conventional deadlift. It requires a lot more strength from your upper back specifically to be able to support that wider position. Now generally your feet are gonna be the same position as what it normally would be, hip width apart, maybe slightly wider if that's your preference. However, with your hands, you're gonna go much wider. Now, you can start sort of just going out a little bit and then work your way out slowly. You don't wanna go past the point where the bar is going past your hip crease. So for me, full grip, snatch grip, the bar is in the hip crease. If, for example, I was to go wider than this and the bar was resting on my belly button, then I'm going too wide with my setup. So, uh, hip crease or just below hip crease is also fine for the snatch grip variation. So, we figured out our grip width. You're gonna come down into your setup, firm grip on the bar, pull it in close to the body, get nice and tight, create tension, lift. Now, things to take in, uh, keep in mind when performing this variation, make sure you're pushing through a flat foot, not on your heels, not on your toes. Second, make sure that bar is constantly in contact with the body. At no point is it getting away from you. It's always riding up against your thighs, shins. And then uh, lastly, make sure your arms are straight when performing this exercise. You don't wanna let your elbows bend in order to compensate. Keep them straight and instead, Focus on keeping tight through your mid-back by pulling your shoulders down. Not back, down. As if you're trying to get more length. Pull the shoulders down. And that'll help you create that isometric hold position. Some things to avoid is overextending through the lower back, potentially going too wide with the hands, or not having adequate extension through your upper back. We don't want to be in this position here. We want to be here, like that. 